Fred Croner, uh, Prep Sports Coordinator at the News Gazette, Champaign, Illinois. Well, I've been at the News Gazette uh, in, in March. Next March, it'll be 32 years I've been at the News Gazette. Uh, I grew up in the area. I'm from Muhammad originally and um, had always had an interest in writing and sports, and this was just a way I could combine the two of them. Uh, I actually got started writing while I was in high school. Muhammad had a weekly paper. Uh, at the time, it was called The Sucker State. It's now called The Muhammad Citizen. Um, but when I was in junior high, I went up to the editor because all the, the sports they had in the paper were about uh, the high school team. So I went up to the editor and I said, how come you never have anything about the junior high teams? And he said, well, uh, it's just my wife and I that run the paper and we don't have time to do that. But if you want to write something, we'll put it in the paper. And so uh, I had no training or anything, but that was how I got started. I, I got started covering Muhammad Seymour junior high. Um, my seventh grade year and eighth grade year, and then uh, as I got into high school, uh, they had me continue. Uh, even though they had before covered the high school teams, they had me continue. And uh, so by the time I got out of high school, I'd already had six years of, of experience writing, um, even though I had no formal training. So I mean, it was it was. I look back on some of those stories now, and they were pretty awful. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing, but at least what it was doing was it was giving me an idea of how to put a story together and uh, things like that. And so then I. Uh, after high school, I, I enrolled at the U of I, and I was over at the U of I uh, for four years, got my degree from there, uh, worked part-time. Uh, Champagne at that time had a second newspaper, second daily paper, the Champagne Urbana Courier, and I worked part-time there for three years in the sports department. Um, after I graduated, my first full-time job was over in Bloomington, Illinois, the Bloomington Daily Pantograph, and I was over there just about three years, and an opening came up at the News Gazette, and. I applied and uh, been here ever since. I cover high school sports. I, I occasionally do some other, some junior college and, and U of I sports. And, uh, I, I enjoy that. The problem is there's, there's just so much going on with high school. I mean, especially in the fall, uh, we have nine different high school sports going on between the boys and the girls. And so uh, it's really unrealistic for me to cover uh, much U of I or anything other than, than high school to, to give it the treatment that it deserves. Uh, and I'm fine with that. I, I enjoy the, the high school coverage and uh, I think what I really like is just the fact that uh, there are so many different teams and so many different sports, uh, no day is really the same. Um, like for example, a lot of times in the fall I will cover a volleyball game on a Thursday night, a football game on Friday, a cross country meet on Saturday. And so there's three different sports in three days. Um, and then early in the week I might be writing a feature on a, a golfer or swimmer or soccer player or uh, something like that, a tennis player. And so. Uh, that's one of the things I like. It's just there's there's so much variety. It's not you don't go to work and do the exact same thing day after day after day. And, uh, that's really been one of the appeals for me. The the job at the Courier, you know, it was interesting because one of my school projects back when I was in high school is we had to do a a um, career paper, uh, a research paper on, on a career that we would like to get into. And so I wrote to the sports editors of both papers at the time, the News Gazette and the Courier. And uh, the only one I heard back from, ironically, was the, the sports editor from The Courier. His name was Lon Eubanks. Uh, and he sent me a lot of great information and material that I used in my story. Um, and you know, during that, I had indicated that I, I was you know, very interested in getting into this as a profession and that I planned on going to the U of I. And apparently, he had kept that uh, letter on file. Uh, because after my freshman year, he actually called my house uh, and said, you know, are, are you still at the U of I? Would you be interested? We have a part-time opening. And so uh, at that point, I hadn't even actually applied for a job. Uh, but, but he called just based on uh, you know, the letter I had sent him while I was in high school. Well, for, for a game story, it's a little different than, than, than a feature story. A game story, you, you go to the game and just, uh, I take as thorough notes as I can uh, because what I find is you never know what you're going to need and, and when you're going to need something. There's, there could be a big play, uh, but you can't determine in advance what the big play is going to be. So you have to chart down uh, all the plays. At least that's the way I, I do it. I go about, go about it that way, football or basketball or whatever. I, I do a complete play-by-play play play and keep the stats, and that way I, I have an idea of what's going on. Uh, and then when the game is done, I can see what I want to highlight. You know, maybe it was something that happened. Maybe a team got off to a 15-0 run in the first quarter, uh, or maybe it was a last-second shot. And so, but if you're waiting for that last-second shot, and it's a 25-point game, then you're, you're kind of out of luck. So, uh, that's the way I approach it. I I, uh, I do a complete play-by-play, -play, uh, and then just uh, 
after the game talk to to at least the coaches. Uh, if, if there's time, um, I like to talk to an athlete or two as well. Um, sometimes there's, there's not time or sometimes there's space limitations that I know about in advance and I know it's going to be a short story. So uh, that's, uh, we're a little flexible in that. It just kind of, uh, that's more of a case-by-case, game-by-game basis. I would say the, the main thing is, it's kind of something that I, I follow unwittingly. I didn't really know what I, I was doing at the time, uh, but just ride as much as you can. And, and that was kind of how you know, I got my start by going to the junior high games and, and writing about them. Uh, and even though I didn't have you know, the, the training and I, I didn't know exactly what I was doing, just you know, organizing your thoughts into a story form uh, and condensing it into a, you know, at that time it was like a four, five, six paragraph story. Uh, is going to benefit you in the long run. The, the, you know, it's like anything else. You know, shooting baskets. You know, the more you shoot, the better you're going to get. The more you write, the better you're going to get. The more uh, you know, you think about how you organize a story. You know, you don't just do a story chronologically. You don't cover a basketball game and say, "Well, this is what happened in the first quarter. This is what happened in the second. You hit the highlights uh, first. That's the first thing you go. So, you know, if, if the lead was a team jumped out to a 20 nothing lead, okay, then that's it. But if somebody hit a last second shot, you don't wait till the 10th paragraph to, to say that. So just the more experience that, that you get and the more comfortable you, you get in that kind of surrounding is, is the big thing in my mind.